Well, well, well. Another video to update on. Okay, so what do we have here in front of me? Is a wall box to charge an EV. Um, yes, I'm planning on getting a full electric vehicle and I wanted to try and see what it would take to charge it using strictly solar. So I went and did some searching to find out which wall boxes are compatible with solar in terms of being able to manage the load to ensure that we stay within the capacity of the solar panels and not pull anything from the utility. And this is what I've found. Look here. All right, it is from Empora. I hope I'm pronounced that right. It's a level two charger. Um, coming closer for indoor and outdoor usage. So it, there is some water rating there. The usual schedule charging, Wi-Fi, charge with excess generation. That is the solar aspect. Um, demand charging to control how much and when and time of use management All right. so what makes this one special over the other units which are more or less within the same price point range of uh, a thousand us dollars give or take okay is not the actual wall box itself which can't do all of the features it advertises unless you buy the home monitoring kit all right oh there so in the home monitoring kit the base model comes with just what you see here in my hands which is the monitoring and the two primary CTs you know line one line two for split phase and what this allows you to do is let's say your house has only a small breaker coming in from the utility and that you want to charge your car as fast as possible but you don't want to turn on some large loads like let's say the water heat or several air conditioners and overload your circuit breaker and cause it to trip. This unit will monitor the amount of power being pulled and when large loads start would actually turn down the charge rate of the um, wall box so as to maintain the within the capacity of your breaker and you don't cause any trips or surges in your electrical distribution so that's one the other aspect which is goes on to the solar is when you take the same monitoring unit and you add on the the sub breaker or sub load um current sensors to monitor those it too can be dedicated to your solar system so what that means is that it knows how much power is pulled from your solar, um, what is being pulled from the grid, and try and maintain the charge rate so that it stays within the capacity of your solar system. Alright, so that is one of the main benefits why I got that. Because while other units do have this built in, this one gives me the benefit of being able to monitor loads, not just with the solar, but other sections in the house. That's, that's a plus. That kind of sold me on it. And the fact that they're all within the same price point. So what I just took out doesn't come with the box. You actually have to buy all of those. This, which is that kennel, the and the module separately. And then what comes in just this is the wall box here. Uh, so manual um, hook for the, the plug. Um, a quick review. Um, some no name wiring. So nothing really on that rating on the wiring going in. But it does feel pretty sick. Has a bit of weight in there, so there's a bit of copper in it. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> uh, the wall box itself has the built in wall support here. So you put this support in on the wall and then you screw this back onto it. Uh, in terms of weatherproof, 
it let's have a look here the enclosure is ip66 that's not bad that is that is that can take some weathering with the rain um voltage uh but that can't read save my life but anyway 208 to 240 50 60 hertz um maximum output is at 240 48 amps all right and yeah down to minus 30 degrees c all the way up to 50 degrees c that's not so bad it's what is this, this is yeah it's all plastic enclosure but yeah for the actual what is this um the j well i can't remember what what what, what i'm sorry i apologize that is the plug and as you can see the rating on the plug is ip56 um type 1 level 2 uh, plug and it's the j1772 connection yeah uh and i can't remember how much i think it was about 10 feet or 12 feet of cabling from the wall box going out but yeah that's it overall pretty happy with what i've got the only thing that i'm sad is that this arrived before the vehicle so mm, gonna have to wait a little bit longer before i install this and show you guys how it works but yeah just a quick update on what's happening around here